The DFB Pokal returns for the 2022-2023 season and the first round has already seen some shocks with Stuttgart kickers beating Greuther Furt, Eintracht Braunschweig beating Hertha BSC and biggest of all, Elversberg beating Bayer Leverkusen. And we are at Stadion der Freundschaft, which is behind me, with a big police presence today as 4th Division Energy Cup bus take on Bundesliga's own Werder Bremen in the first round. Anticipation is of course building ahead of today's game. There can't be many stadiums that have their own train line right outside. It's time for us to get inside. Now, as you can see behind me, there's a lot of media interest in today's game. That is, of course, because you've got Energy Cup bus, who are the fallen giants, taking on the big boys from the Bundesliga in Werder Bremen. And Werder Bremen have won the DFB Pokal six times, so I think it's fair to say that they are favourites for this game. And Energy Cup bus, they were finalists in 1997, and they've since reached the quarter-final and the semi-final. And in recent years, they've taken on the likes of SC Freiburg and Bayern Munich right here at Stadion der Freundschaft and push them both close all the way. So yeah, I think they're gonna put up a fight tonight and the pressure's really on Werder Bremen because they're the ones who are the favorites and Energy Cup bus, they can just play their football. Off here, the atmosphere is unbelievable. This should be some night. So it's half time here and it's 1 0 to Werder Bremen who scored two minutes before half time. And I hope that does not take the wind out of Energy Cup versus Sales because they defended really well without really creating too much. So there's still a lot to play for in the second half. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So it is Werder Bremen who go marching on to the second round of the DFB Pokal. There was a massive difference in class, especially tactically and in terms of fitness as well. You can see that Werder Bremen had the edge and let's be honest, it's a Bundesliga side and they're playing a fourth division Regionalliga Nord off side. So there's always going to be a class in difference. But having said that, in the second half, Energy Cottbus gave it everything they had and was sort of unlucky not to come away with a 2-2 draw and force it to extra time. But it wasn't to be and yeah as i said the class showed through and it's Werder Bremen who go marching on as for any geek up bus they can focus all their energies on what is really important to them this season that is promotion from the regional league of nordost back into the dritter league and that is going to be it from me thank you very much for watching this i'll try and do as much of the dfb pokal as i possibly can this season so i'll see you on the next video goodbye <laughs>